This time it's going to be a uh, quite casual. We're having our lunch and we decided that we're going to talk about a very important issue that is not talked about very candidly mm -hmm. in our, yes. at least in the church culture. Yes. We are going to talk about sex. What? <laughs> Over like healthy, yummy food, mm -hmm. coffee, and good people. Oh, should we go right into it? Yeah, girl, go ahead. Like, you right into it. <laughs> Just so you know, we're all married. We've all um, also lived lives outside of marriage and outside of the Lord. So, like, mm -hmm. we are experienced in a sense that we're not going to be BSing you or like talking from a place of like a, an overly religious spirit or, yeah. or whatever. But we just want to be candid, okay? So, the issue of sex. Everyone's doing it. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to do it. Mm -hmm. What is the right way to do it? <laughs> well, I, I would say to be pretty candid. It's going to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before marriage, um, I actually gave my body away to multiple people before I actually got married. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I, I was, I, you know, I went to church and stuff, but I did, I didn't know what it actually looked like to walk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. But I felt like He was always just like, "Don't do this, don't do that." But when I got married and realized why He was like, "No, there's a reason why I want, I, I want you yeah, to hold it for, for marriage. Sure. There's a reason why it there's when when you have sex before marriage or give your body away to someone other than your husband." The stuff that follows out. I'm talking about oh, breaking so off true. soul ties. Like, I'm my soul was connecting with somebody else other than my husband, and so I, I can't tell you. I'm still walking through stuff yeah. because I gave my body away to someone that wasn't my husband and I wasn't equally yoked with. It's there's so much junk that you do not want to break off sure. after you get married or after you get saved. It's mm -hmm. just it really. There's a reason why the Lord yeah. is like, I, I save your body yeah. for, for marriage. Yeah. It's it's not just, uh, don't do this, don't yeah. do that. It's massive why, yeah. why he yeah. talks about that. So, yeah. I don't yeah. want to bring anybody else into my marriage bed other than my for husband. For real. Actually, you know what? Yeah. What's crazy is that, so I've been married for nine years now. We just celebrated our nine-year anniversary in March. And congratulations. Yes. Thanks, guys. We, we've made it. We've made it. Yeah. The past five years. I mean, every year we're like, we've made it again. How do we do this? Yeah. But... To be quite honest with you, like I had a very promiscuous like lifestyle before I got saved. I mean, I was a drug addict. I was partying it up in college. I was looking for love in all the wrong places. So I slept with a lot of people. So what Cherokee's saying about bringing that into your marriage, it was so true. Like I remember there were certain times that we would like be having sex, and all of a sudden I would have literal flashbacks. Whoa! Yeah. So like it yeah. was like literal flashbacks because it triggered something. Mm -hmm. Because in sex, like it's what Rachel said, it's so much more than just a physical yes. act. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're connecting on a spiritual level, mm -hmm. and that you're like depositing something of yes. yourself. They're yes. depositing something of themselves, mm -hmm. whether you want to or not. It's there. Yes. And I actually, like, I would go into straight, like, I don't know if catatonic shock is the right word, but I'd get freaked out and I'd, like, have to stop and I would cry and I didn't know why and I had all these emotions. I'd be like, what's going on? And it really had to do with just that buildup. Think of it as, like, residue on your teeth and you got to scratch away at that plaque. That's good. When it gets really thick and nasty. And mm -hmm. it was so gross. And I, thank God, like, now, mm -hmm. I think it's been, like, maybe two or three years now that I have not had that happen at all. But put that in perspective, six years of my marriage, mm -hmm. I was almost afraid to get too intimate. Because if it if it breached that place of vulnerability and intimacy, yeah. it was like all of a sudden all these other emotions came out too. Yeah. Right, right, like, right. Ah! You don't want that. Yeah. Like you really don't want yeah, that. That's true. I, I think on the flip side, sex mm -hmm. is like a it's a total gift. Like yes. the, the person who created it was God. Yeah. So like I think there's like this weird like religious thing that sex is bad. Yeah. Sex is not bad. It's not bad. No. It's so good. It is. Um, and necessary. It's necessary. Yeah. Not, not, just it's pro pro not just to procreate. Not just to procreate. Procreate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to be able to enjoy. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a deep relational connect. Mm -hmm. And I remember on my honeymoon, um, by God's grace, I made it. I was a virgin when I got married. That's awesome. And, yes. uh, I didn't know a lot, um, but I remember on our honeymoon, I remember one night, I just was overwhelmed by how intimate it is. Mm -hmm. 
and how powerful it is and how yeah. God was using it yeah. to break down walls yeah. of fear, yeah. fear of rejection. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, it's on my honeymoon with a man that loves God mm -hmm. and he had, he had already said no to so many things so that he could marry me. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I remember I was just, I was overwhelmed and I just, started weeping and my husband was like are you okay and I was like I'm fine I I'm just feeling what how powerful and how beautiful this is yeah. and I feel like I've tapped into something that I was made for something that defines me in a way that I never thought I didn't even know this existed mm -hmm. you know and so on the positive way it's so totally. worth it yeah. inside of marriage I mean, marriage you're committing yourself you're covenant to yourself so you're, you're saying you're going to have all of me and i feel like sex really is the culmination or even just the declaration of that yeah you know mm. so yeah let's talk about the good things about it yeah, I think, like, yeah a lot of times yeah. people be like don't do it it's yeah. bad yeah you're nasty yeah. all this stuff <laughs> you're nasty. You're nasty. You're nasty. You're nasty. So let's talk about the good things about it because it is meant there to strengthen, to mm -hmm. connect, to like become truly become one, yeah. mm -hmm. be unified. Mm -hmm. It enriches. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know what scripture that is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it literally when husband and wife come together and it's called in marriage, it literally enriches your body. Yeah, when you're making it does. love to your husband or your. It really does. Like no, I'm thinking of something. It yeah. really does. Mm -hmm. The it's it's the just powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys read that? No. Healthy tr Trim Healthy Mama literally talks about sex for like a whole chapter. No way. I was like, and they're Christians and they like are all about fullness and holes and they're like, there are literal vitamins in there that you need as a woman. No, seriously. <laughs> okay. It's okay. beautiful. I know, I think when we got married, we were talking about how the Holy Spirit is really involved in intimacy. We used to be like, that sounds weird. so weird, but actually feel Okay. It's not every single time. Okay. It's, a, okay. it's not every single time, but a, half of the time, actually, we can actually, we were like, oh my gosh, I actually was aware that how much the Holy Spirit was actually involved in it. That actually on our wedding night, we, yeah. I know the next morning, we were crying. I, I, I was wrong with us in a good way. Yes, because we actually the Holy Spirit was like, yes, mm -hmm. it's like it's, it's celebration. It's it enriches you. It's so powerful. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. So the, obviously that's why on the other end it's like, what do you say carnal? What is? How do you say that? Uh, carnal. Yeah, carnal. Yeah, car yeah, it's carnal. just mayhem. But in and on this side, it's just enriching it's and powerful. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. You, you know it's something amazing. I always struggled with before I was married was. I thought I could do life alone. Mm -hmm. I thought I was better alone. I was more righteous or holy when I was alone because mm -hmm. I could oh, wow. control things. Wow. Talk about a heavy yoke. Whoa. <laughs> and um, and I mean, I didn't say it out loud, but it was like, you know, if I'm going to be super holy, I'm going to be by myself. Totally. And oh, I'm I, right there with you. You know? Yes, I know. And so I have a tendency when life gets rough, I'll strong arm people. Like I'll, And my poor husband, he gets the brunt of the strong arm. Like, leave me alone if I just get alone. Yeah. I can I'll do it. Okay. I can do yeah. it. I can do life. Totally. But then, you know, God created my husband to need my body. Oh. And I what I, what happened was that I shut down my needs for anyone, mm -hmm. and so when he I realized because of sex that he needs me, mm -hmm. but in in um, coming together with him, yeah. I realized that man I need him. Yeah, that's and true. I, instead of walking around with my heart like. Like, yeah. I can do this all Trying on my own. Alone. Yeah, yeah, all alone. And uh, because some people, I used to actually believe I could do best in life alone. Yeah. And yeah. it's a total lie. It's yeah. a total lie. Like you get, we all need connection yeah. with mm -hmm. other humans, and mo and that's I think why God gave us sex. Because yeah. He's like, I want you guys to connect in the most holy, yeah, special, pure. special yes. pure way. And and and, mm -hmm. and not only are you supposed to have sex like. A little fun. bit, yeah. You like you not enjoy like, it. Yeah, you're supposed to like. You can. You yeah. can as right much now. as much as you want. Have it as much as you want. As much. With There's the no right limitation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not wrong. 
You know, I love what you said actually about how like you need just so much because you can't do it alone. Yeah. Like I've noticed that like because I, being I would totally agree with Rachel. Like I feel like if I can just get alone, I can do it myself. It, it's a control issue. It's mm -hmm. like a self survival whatever. It's like totally wrong. Yeah. But what I've noticed is that like, CJ's so funny. He'll be like, like, come on, babe. You know you need it. You're, you're stressed. And I'm like, ew, get <laughs> back. You are annoying me. You're grossing me out. Brush your teeth. Be like, Go take a shower. Change your shirt. Talk to yeah. me for an hour. Make my emotions be happy. Yeah. <laughs> then maybe. He's so always like, oh my God. Yeah. It's been five hours of snuggling. I ain't getting any. <laughs> but the thing is that if I just get over myself, and even if we just do it and I don't, like, I'm not that into it, I notice that all of a sudden, mm -hmm. we're on the same team. Yep. And then I yep. want to more. Yes. And all of a sudden my heart opens up more. But yes. I think the thing about being on a team, like, you feel like, we almost get, like, a line yep. on our purpose, yep. what we're wanting. We want to fight for each other. We're not irritated with one another. Yeah. Like, there's so many positives to it in the right context. It's about doing it together. It's about relationship. I mean, yes. it's... That's what the Lord made us to obviously be, you know, be with another person, community, all that stuff. That's why I think, in terms of, in terms of masturbation, Ooh. that's why I don't think it's like, oh my gosh, it's more of no. I actually made your body for your spouse. Mm -hmm. My orgasms actually belong to my husband, and his Whoa. My, like. That's, that's I mean that's a whole nother song another day, but that's why is it? Because I know the, I know how the the condemnation um, yep. the, 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 it's no there's like no the reason why is because it actually belongs to your spouse and I want this mm -hmm. instead of just I want to do this on my own and yeah. it's self serving and it's yeah. Well, that's the thing like sex shouldn't feel shameful. No, mm -hmm. like, you should feel slimed or grossed out. Like it should feel like bolstering, empowering, like affirming. I mean. Love, you should yeah. feel love, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. I've talked to a lot of like, not a lot, I have heard that though from women who are like, Man, we like connected on a whole nother level in sex, and, and then I just cried, and it felt like cleansing, yes, like so pure, so holy. And it was none of that neg negative stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is from women, and this is a testimony itself like women who have who really had to fight hard to even enjoy sex, yeah, like, you know what I mean, or had like. Like a hard past, maybe you have a history of sexual abuse, or like just, or like me, who slept around, you had a lot of experience in like one bad context. Yep. But like God can redeem that, yeah, and that's, yeah. I think that's what I think I love about Him the most. Yeah. So you're not screwed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs>